Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a KPI card visual like this in Power BI. In this video, you will learn how to add an image in the KPI and how to add the year over year percentage in this format and also how to add a sales strength like this in the KPI visual. So let's start the video. So as you can see here, we have sales data and we have a date table that is connected to the sales on date column and we have a sales measure that is sum of sales and here we have a year slicer so first of all let's go to the insert and go to shapes and take this rectangle shape and let's open the format pane and from here size and style let's make the height as 275 and width as 300 now let's go to the shape style and from here we can make the rounded corner as 20 fill let's make it as white border a light and we can enable the shadow so this is our background next we'll have to add the sales measure first so for that we can add a new card visual and in this card visual we'll add this sales measure uh, let's go to the call out values and uh, let's make it 25 and font let's make it this semi bold and uh, keep it left lined show blank as zero and in the label we can make it as 15 and we can also reduce the gap between sales and this value so we can make it 4 or 5 so we don't need the border and the background so for that we can remove the background overall background and then we can go to the card so let's collapse all categories and go to cards and in the cards we can turn off the background turn off the border and uh, here we can align it like this and right line it accordingly next uh, we can add an image in this card visual only so we can go to image and turn on the image browse the image from here sale icon so i have the image now make it 30 percent transparent and showing in the right of text make the size as 60. so we have added the png and sales measure next we'll have to add the percentage increase and decrease and then last year sales so for that we'll have to create a measure so let's create a new measure from here for last year sales if we cancel it sales same period last year we'll pass the state column from the date table close the bracket so this is our last year sales add this currency format and make it zero decimal places so we have last year sales let's also create a new measure for y o y percentage for that we need current year value that is the sales we need previous year value that is last year sales we need the percentage so this will be divide cy minus py py this will give us the percentage increase or decrease for the percentage decrease value it is going to give a negative symbol which i don't want for that reason i will have to create a formatting for this let's say format so i will use format this percentage like 0, 0.0 percentage so this is for the positive part if the value is greater than zero for the value less than zero it will give 0, 0.0 percentage without minus symbol so this will give us just the percentage with single digits single place okay next we need a triangle up and down increase or decrease icon so for that let's add a variable or we can just return let's say if this percentage is greater than zero we can say unica 9650 this will be the up icon and we can concatenate it with space and again concatenate with the formatted percentage and if it is not greater than zero in that case shift alt down to copy the line and then close the bracket so here it will be for negative for down icon it will be 9660 and the same thing so uh, here let's click on enter so this is our percentage increase and decrease measure okay let's create one more measure for conditional formatting so we need this thing to create the measure so click on new measure and paste it here and let's say 
finish the formatting and we'll say return switch true and we'll say if the percentage is greater than zero in that case let's return green color and uh, alt down if the percentage is less than zero it will be red color else it will be gray color close the bracket and this is our condition formatting measure so let's come back to this visual so we need to add this percentage increase and decrease with this background with the conditional formatting so for that what we can do is we can insert a shape you can see this pill icon we can reduce this like this and we can add it here so check the alignment properly it should be left aligned equally so this looks fine for now we need a card visual as well so i can just copy it from here and this card visual we can remove the image turn off the image and turn off the label and in the values we can decrease it to let's say 13 or 14 and we can pass the percentage y and if i decrease this see uh, the value is going it's invisible for this we can search for padding and let's go to this cards padding and go to custom make it two and zero here as well now it's fixed and this should be center aligned so for that we can go to remove this and we can go to call out values and here we can make it center aligned so keep it here also we'll have to make the color as white let's open the selection pin as well and let's say this card visual as yoy percentage and this shape as yoy pg okay yeah so we'll add the condition formatting later so first let's add the last year value for that let's again add a shape a rectangle shape and go to fill turn off the fill border and enable the text in the text we can say last year and that is we can increase it to 12 or 13 let's make it 12 and font color make it black also we can make it italic and whole element let's make it left lined so we have got a value so also we can group these two visuals for yy together so let's control click or shift click let's select these two visuals and click on control g to group this and we can rename it as y o y percentage so that we can move it easily and this last year let's add a card visual we can take it from here this is the card visual we can copy paste and we had this here let's change the color to black and change the value to last year sales and make it left aligned so we can add it here and also we can reduce the size to 13 or 12 this is the card so last year should be up so we can move it here and we can group these two shapes as well click on control plus click on this card and type control g to group it this group we can see last year now we can move it slightly down to add some space so we can align it perfectly if you don't know how to align it we can use a shape use this line shape go to rotation and make it 90 degree this is now a straight line so we can add it here and check if everything is aligned if i see here everything is aligned we can use this for alignment we don't need it now so it's fine okay next we need to add a trend sales trend for that let's take a line chart and add month number in the x-axis and in the y-axis add the sales so we have this line chart or uh, double click to enable the on object interaction and we can quickly remove everything from here just click and remove it so we have removed everything click on the line and we can change the line as well so for now we'll just change the intercalation type to smooth because it looks nice and change the color to something 60 percent maybe and add the shade area let's align it like this so we have added the line chart like this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the background so currently if i change the slicer background is not changing so for that let's click on this background let's go to the slicer pane again and 
this YYBG. Let's select this and go to the shape style and fill. We can turn off the border and uh, for the shape style, we can add here in the FX button and then format style, we can choose field value and add CF measure what we have created for condition formatting. And now if you see, it's adding the green color. And if I change it to 25, see, it's changing the colors. We have created this visual. Finally, what we can do is we'll have to group every visuals. So what we can do is we can select everything and can click on control G so that everything is grouped and we can from this selection pane we can name it as sales KPI so this is our sales KPI now if you want to move it anywhere we can move it and if you want we can directly control C control V we can copy paste it and we can change the measure for profit and any other measures and we can show it side by side like this. If you want to connect with me and book a one-to-one -one call on any Power BI issue, you can book a call on TopMate. Or if you're short on time and don't want to book a one-to-one -one video meeting, then you can opt for this priority DM where I'm going to give you the text-based answers as soon as possible. Also, if you want to buy Power BI reports along with the data set and BRD documents, currently I have these two reports in the store that is Superstore Analytics Dashboard and Pizza Sales Dashboard. So you're going to get the PBIX report along with the data set and BRD documents. All of these links are provided in the description. So see you there. These are the books that I highly recommend buying that can take your Power BI skills to the next level. These three books can cover almost all the aspects of Power BI from DAX to Power Query to the overall Power BI dashboarding. You can find the link of these books in the description. Check them out if you want to level up faster. So I hope you learned something from this video and you like this video. If you like the video, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.